Hello Dave, this is AdFree, thanks to all you guys supporting the channel on Patreon. All income from donations and Patreon are used directly to upgrade cameras, light, microphones, software, things that allow me to produce more and better looking videos for you guys. All Patreons also get a discount at the merch store and you have the option to get your name listed at the end of every video. So become a Patreon by following the link in the video description. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Hello Dave with Antwerp Astronomy. It is Monday and that means it's time to have a look at what's been going on in Leet. And it has not been a boring place for the last week, and this would definitely have exciting times to come in the near future. First of all, the last community goal, or not community goal, it is still an initiative, um, ended with um, the corporation figuring out that they could now detect where the affected crops were, where the fertilizers had, um, had like, corrupted them or whatever. But part of that scan, um, they got a like an emergency signal, like a request for supplies. Metallic VR, a Elite Dangerous streamer over on Twitch. Um, I think he was the first to discover um, the mega ship that uh, sent out this signal. I should say spoilers ahead, so if you want to see this for yourself, there will be spoilers now. There was this mega ship, uh, the Golconda, that is um, is that one of these generation ships that were sent out like many, 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 many years ago. And were planned to be like seed ships that was going to go out and start new human colonizations. We found many of these, and in many cases, the, they didn't really make it um, to the destination. And you could then collect some audio log that would tell you something about what happened to the crew, which often would die from sickness or something else would happen that would cause them um, to perish. However, the interesting thing about this is that the people on board are still alive. Well, not the original people, but I would assume their descendants are now still alive on board the ship. They have taken the materials that were originally intended to start the new colony and they cannibalized that to keep the ship flying until now. But they are running out of, out of both supplies and materials to keep repairing their ship. And this has sparked a new interstellar initiative that has already started. Um, I was very surprised to see them start so close to each other, back to back almost. Um, and this actually turns out to be quite an interesting one. It's quite different than some of the others we've seen. Frontier has already laid out all the phases of what's going to happen during this interstellar initiative. So right now, phase one is running. This is a trade community goal to get supplies out to the system. But with all the incoming uh, convoys full of trade goods, there are increased pirate activity in the area. So there's also been set up a community goal for hunting NPC pirates. So a bounty hunting community goal. This will be running from the 8th of November, so it's already started, until the 14th. So that's just another three days from now, where you can do either trade and uh, bounty hunting. Now, the outcomes of these don't seem to have a huge lasting effect, but what's going to happen is on the 18th of November, which should be, let me get my calendar here again, which is Monday next week, you will have a, um, a new community goal starting from the 18th through the 26th. Here, the Federation and the Empire will both jump in mega ships into the sector. And I believe that they will start, is it another trade community goal? Yes, it is another trade community goal where you can then trade with either the um, um, the Empire side or the Federation side. They will both be, um, be requiring the same materials. Um, and depending on who you sell to, these two factions will now uh, fight against each other. And based on who wins, something will happen in phase three. Phase three will run from the 5th of December to the 16th of December. If the, let me just get this right here. If the empire wins, we're going to get a planetary port in the system. And, and if the Federation, we're going to get an outpost. So those two, well, okay, an extra outpost, another our planetary landing. Well, well, so, so. But the interesting thing is that during that last phase from the 5th to the 6th December, rank increasement for that faction will be doubled across the whole galaxy. That means you can rank up extremely quickly during that period. It is, I mean, it's running from the 5th to the 16th. That's a week and a half, and it's covering two full weekends. That means if you haven't gotten your rank for like a cutter or corvette or anything, then those two weekends is going to be the best chance you're going to get to uh, to get that rank up a lot quicker. Again, it's going to span over two weekends, which I think is awesome. And... I think it's great to see Frontier kind of bring this idea of this um, this like bonus weekend concept back that they did a while back. They did it once and it was a huge success, I think. Very positively received. 
And then you just never did it again. But it seems like they're bringing back that idea again, where they have like small, short events that make something easier uh, in the game. I think the last one you could engineer for less material, so you would only consume materials from one grade lower, meaning it, it was back then a lot easier to engineer your ships. Now we're getting federate, like rank increasement. And the last time I believe that this happened, I mean, that was way back before Horizon. So that's years ago. So this is probably not something we're going to see happen again anytime soon. So there's no better chance than, uh, than now to go out and get your, uh, get your rank up at least. Well, in the beginning of December. I just quickly need to mention the live stream tomorrow. Last week, um, I did an update to the Cube Combat Shield. We're going to give it a test flight. I, I mean, there's a combat bounty hunting community goal running for um, um, for the new generation ship. So we might head out there. But I think I would prefer conflict zones since they are a little bit more challenging than, than hunting uh, bounty hunting. But we'll take that out and we'll try to give the new shield some tests and see if the if it actually holds up the way, uh, way I'm hoping it will. But it's all going to happen. 20 o'clock in-game time, streamed here on YouTube or on Twitch. I hope I'll see you there. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys in space.